director on 590 The Fan, KFNS, and KFNS.com. wanted to ask you about a variety of topics uh, here on the program, something that took place within the last 24 hours that is getting uh, plenty of statewide attention and also some national attention, is Rush Limbaugh's uh, induction yesterday in Jefferson City. I, I, I think I saw a video, and I think I saw you present for that what is your take on this subject which is which is in in some quarters uh, controversial uh, well to me it's not controversial he's a famous missourian he made a difference in talk radio um, i know the family quite well they are very patriotic i've contributed a lot to our state and i'm proud that he's being inducted i was there it was a very nice ceremony and he had some great things to say about Missouri. Why do you think it was uh, done on, on short notice in front of the in, entire, uh, entire uh, on, on the floor? Well, it, it wasn't done when they were in session, by the way. Right. People but but it, was, it was done on short notice, and the media, had, from at least St. Louis and Kansas City, had to go rushing down there. And in, in the case of one station, I know they didn't, they weren't able to get video of it because it was done. And I and I saw the speaker said that he did it for the purpose of protecting his family from potential protesters outside. Yeah, I think that's I think that's why they did it that way. Were there any protesters out there? Was it was there any backlash at all? You know, I did not see any and. Any but uh, I went out the kind of the side door, so I, w I wasn't um, watching the front. So I don't, I really don't know. But all I know is it was a very nice ceremony. Uh, there were a lot of people there. His entire family was there, and like I said, you know, they've contributed a lot to our state. So let me just let me play devil's advocate on the whole thing. And personally, I'm all for it, and I wouldn't necessarily consider myself a regular Rush Limbaugh listener. Uh, but just to play devil's advocate, let's say Howard Stern were from the state of Missouri, and, and obviously he's been very successful in radio. However, he does a different style of radio than Rush Limbaugh. Would you still be in favor of that? Uh, I don't know about that. And what's the difference? No, I, I just don't think that uh, Rush Limbaugh has the Howard Stern style he's talking about conservative ideas but they're the, the 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 standard was they've both been very successful in their industry uh the well the standard was he's been talking about and changed the face of talk radio and i would say howard stern has done that just as much would you disagree you know i haven't watched howard stern and listened to him much but i understand he's pretty uh vulgar most of the time so I personally don't think. You know, but the, but the controversy surrounding Rush, there is that that he called a, a woman a slut, and I would, I would think. And that he many, apologized for it. I understand, but and I that mean, isn't his normal uh, talk. You know, each day he's usually talking about conservative ideas. Is, isn't the bottom line, and, and and I'm all for inducting famous radio folks. Certainly, we'll never get to that mm -hmm. level. What? But uh, we're not done. Why? But I think the bottom <laughs> line is you have both guys that have been associated with, with controversy. Personally, I'm offended by neither. But if both guys have been associated with, with controversy and both guys have had similar successful paths, why would one get the, the, the uh, praise and the other be left out? I, I don't see that. And I'm, I consider myself an independent moderate. <laughs> well, I think what Rush Limbaugh did was actually started that talk show at a time when the uh, fairness doctrine had just changed, and he got a you know the whole wave of talk conservative talk radio hosts going in this country. All right. All right. Well, 